Hello and welcome to Dip Switches 101. These are dip switches on the table, and this video is for people that don't like to use them. They can be a bit intimidating, but they're easy to use, and they can do all kinds of things. Some of them are really simple and practical, others sound like this. So today we're going to go through things step by step. The good news is that some of the coolest stuff is very easy to do. The gear should be turning almost immediately. And then we can get into the into this. So if you own a mood pedal, you know that there's no modulation effects. Yet here we are making this sound. The sound you hear before you die. The thing is, because of dip switches, Every Chase Bliss pedal is, in fact, a modulation pedal. There is hidden modulation inside all of these. And a lot of the dip switches are just there so you can customize what that movement does. Settle in. Within about 15 minutes, I think, you'll be quite comfortable and excited to use your dip switches. Okay, we begin. The dip switches have two primary functions, and the first is customization. So, there are a number of switches here on the back that will turn on or off some alternate behaviors of your pedal. Each one is a little different, and Therme is a great example because it has some really transformative ones. So that's your good old fashioned Therme doing Therme. Let's make it something else. It's a good time to note, you don't need a fancy thing to change the dips. I use my finger. All right, so we've turned on the step option. Now observe. It's not doing the Therme thing anymore. What step mode does is instead of sequencing through those pitch shifting steps, it waits for you to manually press on the foot switch. As a result, when we are not stepping on the foot switch, Therme becomes an analog delay. So all we've done is flick one dip switch into the on or up position and Therme has changed completely. How nice. Here's another one, modulation. This changes four of the controls, changes the function of four of the controls. Instead of controlling the pitch sequence, you can now use it to mold modulation. So now suddenly we have an analog delay that has lots of modulation options. This is the first use of the dip switch to customize. It's a simple on off option that allows you to kick on some hidden features or change the core behavior of your pedal. Very good. Okay, thing number two that the dip switches can do, control. It allows you to have a deeper level of control over the effect than the knobs and switches on the pedal's face allow. This could mean external stuff like expression or CV, or this could mean accessing the internal modulation called ramping. We'll get to that later. Let's start with expression. It's familiar and it's easy. I've flicked time into the on position. And that's really as far as you need to go if you don't want to customize. Right now, time expression is on. We've 
you've done it. Okay, but there's obviously more diff switches. Those allow you to configure the range of the sweep as well as the direction. So what we've done there is adjusted the rise and fall parameter, and that decides which direction the knob sweeps or the parameter sweeps as you move the expression pedal. Essentially, you can have that knob or that parameter increase in intensity as you go towards the toe position or decrease. Now, the reason you might want to have a different rise or fall is that you can have multiple parameters on at once. You might want one to rise and one to fall. That can be interesting sometimes. Let's try it. So what that was all about is as the expression pedal got closer to the toe, the delay time slowed down, but the modulation picked up. So what winds up happening is in the toe position, your tonal recall essentially becomes like an analog chorus modulation pedal, but in the heel position you have a delay. And there's all kinds of weird stuff in between. It's, it's quite a, a rich sweep. You can stop at any number of positions and get a different effect somewhere between delay and modulation. So. That's just an example of why you might want to use rise and fall to distinguish which direction the different parameters are moving. Bonus. If you plug CV or expression into your pedal, but turn none of the dips into the on position, there's a bonus thing you can control. It varies from pedal to pedal, and they can sometimes be quite interesting. Here on Tonal Recall, you get kind of a tapey manual modulation, like this. Okay, ramping, we've arrived. You'll notice now, looking at the dip switches, that you know what most of them do, and that is not going to change. Ramping uses the same system as expression, but it manifests differently, because ramping is essentially like an invisible hand moving one of the knobs for you. It's automatic, and that is nice. And there's two different ways we can do it. There is a ramp, and there is a bounce. We're going to start with ramp. I'm going to do it right now. Did you notice what happened there? I'll do it again. Clean. So what happened is we started at one tremolo rate and gradually descended to another. And that is what ramping does. The difference between ramp and bounce is that bounce is a continuous movement, whereas ramp happens once. It happens only once when you turn the pedal on. I think of it as a dramatic entrance. You have an event that you can customize in a variety of ways, I'll show you, that happens at the instant you turn the pedal on. So just like expression, the first thing you'll want to do is decide which knob you're ramping. So you can see that the right knob is in the on position. Now from there, sweep's probably the next thing you're going to want to look at. If we're now in the top sweep position, that means the available range for movement is from the maximum the knob could be turned up to the place where it's currently pointing. If we use the bottom sweep, that means it can move from the minimum the knob could be 
to the position that it's pointing. I will show you. If we put it in bottom sweep, we'll move from the position the knob is pointing to minimum. We've established that ramp allows you to move from one place to another place. There's also a control to decide how quickly that movement happens. You'll notice that the volume knob has the word ramp under it in brackets. What happens is once you engage ramping, the pedal changes the function of that knob. So now instead of controlling volume, it controls the ramp speed. takes a while. Compare that to this. Much faster. All right, so there's one other thing that we'll want to look at. Similar to expression, how you can have it rise or fall, you can do the same thing here. So right now we've had it falling. But what if we wanted to start where the knob was pointing and then get really fast? We can do that. We switch over to rise. Here we go. Sweet, okay, so that's ramping. Now what if we wanted that motion to happen continuously? Hmm. I like this one. It's like a sound illusion. So we're bouncing two things in two different directions. We're bouncing the size of the space, creating the illusion of like a, a room that's shifting in size. And we're also bouncing the mix. So you can hear as you start to speed this up, this effect that bounce has of turning any pedal into modulation. Hopefully you're starting to see that a lot of the big complexity, like if I have five dip switches in the on position, those are just preferences because here we only have three. We have bounce and the two things we want to move in the on position and that's it. So it's really quite a simple formula to get something like this. If you want to go further, it's just preference. It's just, you know, kind of tuning things to taste. Finale. All right. Blooper is such a great place to wrap this up because it does so much of everything like this. Cool, huh? Okay, we're done. 
I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it made sense. And if it didn't make sense, I hope it was inspiring. I promise the rest will make sense once you get in there. You won't break the pedal. It's totally fine. And you'll be amazed at what you can do. I'm surprised every time I use the dip switches. So have a dip and you'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching.